Hi, I'm Catherine Ann of Newberry from the Kingdom of Artemisia. Welcome to our, our place and to the southeastern Idaho area of Artemisia. I am going to talk to you today about a day shade that we make. Or my husband and I, and he's on the camera, say hi Loxley. Hi Loxley. Very funny. Um, that we decided we were going to start doing a couple of shades. And the one I'm referencing today is still on an ongoing basis. It is canvas, but I got it uh, really cheap for $2.99 a yard on a flash sale from Fabric Mart. It is waterproofed already, and I saw I was very lucky, able to get 10 yards of it. Actually, they sent me about 10 and a half yards of it. So this is 17, 17 yards, 17 feet long, and it is double width and about not quite 11 feet wide. We uh, decided to start doing this because we were losing pop-ups and they're 120 bucks a go. We can't, you know, we figured, hey, we did this for under, about $75 thereabouts with the, uh, the poles, the ropes, and the stakes and I will go through that as we go. First off, what I did, getting 10 yards is 30 feet, I cut, divided it in half so we had had that, that reference. Um, then I sewed it down the middle, right here, and then I double sewed it like a flat field as well. This is, a sal this is the salvage, so I didn't have to fold it under and stuff like that so it won't fray. And then I just did all the doubled over the edges again this is a salvage and no problems there just double sewed them right here is what I call a placket and it's sewn into the corner and inside this little area where the sinew is and I hand sewed these in is a washer about a one and a half inch diameter washer leaving a hole for about a quarter of an inch to get the screws through and we'll talk about them on the poles i hand sewed all these and there's six of them all the way around this one takes six poles we have two end ones a six foot two in the middle uh then there's a seven foot poles and then eight foot poles. So we have, no, sorry. We have four six foot, six foot two poles and two eight foot poles. Sorry about that, referencing, referencing something else. So anyway, we still have, um, and we are working on the ridge pole right now. Even though we've used this, we need the stability for a ridge pole in this because it is so big. Um, where, did, where did they go? Oh great. Here it is. We used three eighths size of rope with and one inch or three quarter inch dowels for sliders. We just did a knot in the end and they just slide up and down just like a pavilion would in a rope. This is the end that goes over the end of the pavilion on top of the canvas to set out. Now measuring these, what I did and what I could find the references to was to measure the length. So I measured six foot two down and then three feet out. Now whether you do four feet out is another thing. So you would measure from top to bottom, down the pole, and then out three or four feet, how long you want or how far out from the corners you want your po uh, poles. When you use eight foot, from what I could find out, do the eight feet and you double, you will go out at least good four feet. So it makes 12 feet, plus I would add a foot on, so when you braid the ends or tie the knots in the ends and in the sliders, you've got a little bit of extra rooms for the sliding. 
So it'll give you around 13 feet in rope, maybe 14 feet in, in the rope area for, for that. For the poles, they're heavy, so give me a second here. Oh, I'm caught on it. For the poles, all they are is two by twos. The economy brand, or economy, what they call con economy, economy labeled two by twos. We just went through them. You can get them from the hardware store, from Lowe's, Anderson Lumber, whatever local lumber place is good. They were under two dollars per eight foot. Lowe's cut them for us to the sizes I wanted. Um, when I went in there, go through them, find out the straightest ones. You might have to go through a few of them to get the best ones, but they're under two dollars. So I got six poles here. Here's twelve dollars worth of poles. Four inch screws on the six foot two poles and they put in an inch, good inch. And what we did to get the center is just go from corner to corner to get the center and screw it down. I would suggest taping the ends with some Gorilla Glue. It doesn't leave the residue like, not Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Tape, sorry. I would suggest using this. It doesn't leave the residue like duct tape does. So you can, when you do them, they're all, ha they're all hand sanded and sprayed. Use a sealant on them. You can tell the coloring of it compared to what the ridge pole is. It's not sealed yet. These ones here are on the eight foot poles and these are a six inch screw that Loxley took, took to work and put on a grinder and ground down the ends so it can go through the holes. Now, with these, we can hang lanterns on them or whatever, but we mainly did the big ones because we want them for uh, putting wind ropes on. So when we have high winds, we at least got some extra ropes we can put on to hold, uh, to hold it. Um, we have had it in high winds and not have had to use wind ropes. Um, it's been pretty stable. We use, um, I've got some help here. <laughs> got some help down here. That's teeny. What we use for stakes is these rebars and they were square stock. Short stock, my husband knows better square than square stock. Three square H. stock. Hey, I'm just, this is not my part of the thing. He had them made by Flying Forge up yeah. in Missoula or up in Montana. Hello. Helena. Okay, I, he's up in Montana. Flying Forge, Richard Hart made these, but we have a couple of different forges in our kingdom. Um, Raven McLeod, Baron, Sir Baron Raven McLeod, he's now become the new Baron of Loxolan and also a young man by the name of uh, Pascal, who is Sir Bartholomew's uh, son, also makes these and does a very good job. Um, I think there is one other person in our kingdom that makes these, uh, but we have a few and you can uh, find them on our, you can hit me up on my Facebook page if you need to find someone that does these. I have a few references. Um, these are the ones we use. We don't use the little, the ten penny, uh, ten penny nail ones you can buy from Walmart for like a buck a piece. These ones we had made for us and they weren't expensive either. I mean, like I said, we did this for probably 75 bucks or less. Sixty dollars a dozen. Yeah. So anyway, we had this in here. Um, I have got this. This is a normal canvas, to, uh, canvas, nine by twelve painter's tarp. I'm going to use it for walls. Um, this was about fifteen dollars. This is an accessory. This is not added onto this. This is a little bit more. We have. I have got a couple of them, and they will be something we would use for a night or a little bit of shade, or something like that. So here's the ridge pole. 
that is going in and we just this is a ridge pole and we just got this referenced where we're going to drill some holes into the poles to put be able to put the, the other the eight foot legs in this is two inch tubing that my husband got from his work he's in the agricultural business so he's able to get this and he drove a bolt through that was able to be keep it stuck and this will go into into the ends of it so it's easy to do and of course the flat side will go against the canvas so we don't tear anything out so anyway that is the day shade that we made like I said this is not expensive I would say all in all with everything we have probably under a hundred dollars to make the whole thing and again the canvas was really cheap it's water resistant we'll probably spray it again with some um, some fabric sealant and uh, if you are going to use these these can I've known someone to use these and do the same thing we did um, as a just a shade they are not they will get soaked just like any canvas but if you put a, a, a seal on it you could use these two a couple of these together and these are 9 by 12s so they're fairly big um, if you just want something to to just do you probably just do one of them but uh, we have a 10 by 10 the same thing got a flash steel um, on some canvas uh, several years ago I made a 10 by 10 after we lost a pop-up one year and ended up buying another one and having it that break so I'm like, like I said we're cheap in, into it cheaper than what we would pay for a pop-up um, I would uh, say that this is probably something we'll be using it looks more periodish when we go we've used it at uh, uprising we've used it at a crown tourney and we've had like 20 people under this this one specifically had about 20 people just under the shade part of it so and when we had it for camp when we did it for camping we were able to set up a kitchen in one end able to put a diet like a small dining table in the middle and we had a relaxation area we could set up on the other end so it's big enough that we can it'll cover the front of part of our tent and still have enough room for for us all to hang out in um, so yeah thanks anyway hope this has happened you can get hold of me at kit page k-i-t p-a-g-e on facebook if you want some more information um, like i said from the kingdom of artemisia thanks have a good day wash hands wear your face masks and hope to see you soon in person bye artemisia